Let me get into this 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 LeBron James. Uh, apparently, it's a clip uh, floating around of LeBron speaking specifically about Caitlin Clark. Uh, and I don't know if y'all familiar with Caitlin Clark, but Caitlin Clark is obviously a uh, former Hot Iowa. Trash. Iowa, yeah, she huh? on fire right now. No, she, she's not. trash. No, she she is on fire. She winning right now. Her, her bag is on fire, nigga. Her game fucking sucks. How is it? And she averaging. A crazy amount of uh, hold on. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pull up her stats. Yeah. And they only five games in. Neither zero and five. Yeah, I thought she. Wait, it doesn't wait, matter if they zero and five. She, yes, it does. It does not matter. You're you're not about to let these stats lie to me because you're. I know what you're about How to do. How am I not letting the stats lie to me? Say what you got to say, and I'll and I'll and I'll let you know the real. Um, because you do re- realize that this is a team game, but. Uh, she finished with 21.7 rebounds and seven assists. She's had her best all around game, even though they lost 83 to 85. And you telling me she wasn't cooking. Um, um, please let me know her, her percentage. How, how, how many shots did she have to throw up to get 20 points? Hold on. Give me a second. She averaged, she averaged eight, she averaged 18. Uh, and she's shooting 40% from the field. She's five for 13. Yeah, I mean, so what? She's still a rookie. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand how was that not good, especially considering nigga, she, she no, she literally nigga like she jacks up twenty plus shots a game to get her. One moment, let me look up her. No, 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 no. She she's only she's shooting five for third. She's shooting forty percent. How does she shoot twenty plus uh, for, shots for the, for the, for the year? 13? For the year, you said five for thirteen, bro. That's one game. No, no, no. She's five for thirteen on average. She's shooting forty percent for the season in five games. Last game previously before that, she shot seven of eighteen. Like I don't know what you're looking at, Quentin. That's not a great shooting night. I've I've watched these games, and please check the turnovers. One turn, one game, she had fucking fifteen turnovers. But well, let's look at the clip real quick. Well, let's let's look at the clip. (laughs) Tell the turner. Like I'm sorry. Like I've actually watched these games. And like the, I, she's I, a rookie. With the whole the Caitlin Clark buzz. Her? She's a rookie with a target on her back. Yeah, she's averaging the same well, amount of well, Let me let me play assists. the clip. Let me play the clip real quick. All right, and then we'll get into it. Um. So this is a this is LeBron. Uh, hold on, let me switch this up real quick. I gotta put my man over here. This is LeBron giving his thoughts um, on Clay, uh, on Caitlin Clark. You know, we, we want to talk about sort of all things basketball. And uh, Caitlin Clark, uh, phenomenal run. Yeah. I saw her the other night, by the way. I saw her the other night in Indy uh, after her, I think it was her second game or her uh-huh. third game. But it was the first game against Liberty. They played Liberty Thursday, then they were back here in New York on Saturday. I saw her after the Thursday game uh, very briefly. And, um, you know, she was just talking about uh, the quick turnaround, which I find to be insane that they they go through this season that starts basically in September. Uh, They have all their preseason practices, games. She does the tournament, gets the national championship game. And then, like, within a month, she's playing in real WNBA games. There's no real offseason for her. Um, But the the thing I wanted to bring up was just... uh, I I don't want to call it hatred, Mm -hmm. but it's there's definitely, uh, like, a like a dislike or vitriol yeah. coming her way towards older players. And look, I think we all experienced that to some degree when we first got in the NBA. For sure. Your opponents, your, your opponents are not wrapping their arms around, around <laughs> you. I, I, I had that to a small yeah. extent. I was the cocky white kid from Duke, yeah. right? You know, I feel like sometimes my teammates hated me. <laughs> um, <laughs> how did you process that? How did you go through that? at a young age coming into the NBA where the people could have been your teammates, could have been the people you were competing yeah. against. They weren't celebrating you. No, not at all. They wanted to kick your ass. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, my teammates for sure. Um, there's video evidence of my teammates basically saying like, he's not ready or there's somebody playing his position or, we're not putting all our faith in an 18-year-old kid or, you know, all this hype. We've been here, all this, you know. So you know, my own teammates that I had to, like, be on the floor with, practicing with, on the planes with, 
you know, in the locker room, in game situations was kind of, you know, just had this kind of, you know, like you say, you don't say hate, but just like animosity, like towards, uh, towards me and, and, you know, and, and, and what I could provide. Um, and I didn't even come in with that. I didn't come in. I came in with the narrative, but I didn't come in with that type of aura. I just wanted to come in and learn from the vets and then put, and, you know, put the work in. So I think for, for my advice to Caitlin um, and my advice to anyone that comes in with this, you know, this level of like notoriety, you know, out of this world I, expectation, you know, whatever the case may be, I just think just, you know, it's all about having, you know, a, a, be a, a horse, man. You know, the Kentucky Derby, put your blinders on, go to work, show up to work, punch your clock in, prepare yourself, work on your game, work on your craft, you know, kind of keep your mouth shut, you know, and just learn from the vets. When they ask, you voice your opinion. If, if they want your opinion, man, early on, because everybody is looking for you to say anything and they're going to splice it and cut it and make it a negative thing. Like, and I think for her, the one thing that I love that she's bringing to her sport, more people want to watch. More people want to tune in. I saw for the first time that they had, they had a chartered plane for the first time in their league history. You know, they flew private. That should be celebrated in its own right. For anyone that's, you know, in sports that's flown commercial or flown, you know, charter, that should be celebrated. And it's because of Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. Um, but for her individually, I don't think she should get involved on nothing that's being said. Just go have fun, enjoy. Um, people need to realize the Indiana Fever, this is the second year in a row they had the number one pick. So do y'all know what that mean? That means they're not that good. <laughs> they had back-to-back -back years as the number one why, pick. Why are you a hater on the Fever, man? No, <laughs> like, I, I, am a, <laughs> I am a realist. Like, because not, not only, like, I get, like, people are just, like, crazy about why she should be doing this and they should be doing that. If she's so great, this team... Like, it's still a team game, people. It is still a Queen. team game. And, you know, but I, I, I'm rooting for Caitlin because I've been in that seat before. I've walked that road before. I hope they, I hope she kills. I hope Aaliyah Boston does amazing. You know, I hope they do great. You know, I'm just kind of in this mode right now because I'm getting the same, you know, thing from watching my son, who's a 19-year-old, kind of getting a lot of animosity and hatred towards him when, He's just a kid trying to live out his dream. You know, there's a very small number of men and women that actually get to live out their dream of playing the professional sport. And we have grown ass men and women out here doing whatever they can to try to make sure that does not happen. That Thoughts? I don't, uh, I'm, think looking, I'm, I'm looking at these numbers that you guys were telling me, and she had one good game that woefully changed the trajectory of her percentage. Her first game, six of se um, six of sixteen, five of eleven. She had nine of seventeen, two of eight, five of fifteen. That's fucking horrible. Man, she a rookie though. Who cares? Why, fuck, wait, why wait, are you wait, getting wait, up fifteen wait, plus wait, shots wait, a game? Wait, 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 wait. She's a rookie on a horrible team. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't they that, she's they, a, no, she's a rookie on a horrible team. She's the best player in college on a horrible team. She's the best player on the court, on the on the fever, and they're targeting her to shut her down. So it's not going to be the same as a rookie that went under the radar. She was the most coveted female rookie ever ever period they're not going to let her get off for I, one I, thing I, I, I most of these women angel reese is doing better than her i hate the hoe but she's doing better yeah, because they're not focusing on angel reese they're not gonna focus on her they're not gonna focus on her this is the they problem on, they on the hate Caitlyn. this is this is this is why i said she should have she should have listened to q she should have went over to the, as crazy as it sounds because these women, they not going they not gonna let up on Caitlin Clark. They not. She is going, she's going to outshine them in every way, shape, form, or fashion if she becomes too popular. If she if she starts to kill, she's going to outshine them. They do not want that shit, man. 
Like, period. They hate. They, 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 well, like, they, they. I think they hate Caitlyn Clark because she's a conservative, um, straight white female. It's probably that got a lot to do with it. That got a lot most to of do the with women it. in the most of the women in the NBA are gay black women. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Man, I think I think that got a lot to do with it, but they not they don't want her to fucking they don't want her to they don't want her to stand up and, and be nothing like for real. But the thing, only thing I got some pushback about LeBron though, man, because he put a target on his son's back, man. He tripping, like he started talking too much, like he he's definitely on some bullshit, man. Like talking about his son, nigga, you caused all that shit to happen with your son because you started saying he was better than your teammates. LeBron got to stop talking so much, man. Like he be tripping, and then yeah, he doing agree. like he definitely don't need to do no podcast talking about his fucking son. Don't say yeah, nothing was... else about your fucking son, man. Let that nigga hoop and shut the fuck up. And I commend God, him damn. doing like with you know JJ Riddick. You know I commend him on it, but it's just a slippery oh, slope. Oh, no, man, just, I, nigga... I mean. It's just a slippery Look, slope. I mean, I like that he paired off with uh, JJ Reddick. I just think it's a no. slippery slope. Someone like him speaks. No, uh, wait, 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 wait. Quinn just lied. Angel rescored her first bucket in three games. What, what oh, is, shit, I, I didn't say she scored more points. I said she's doing better. I didn't say she's scoring more points. Wait, is she doing better? Or what there, there, there's a better? there's a difference. There's more to basketball than scoring points, but you guys. Is no, 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 is she? Is she, oh, never mind. That's irrelevant. Look, we ain't even talking about Angel Reese. That's irrelevant. Yeah, yeah I mean, she the has problem. a target. So, 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 Caitlin Clark has a target on the back for for several reasons. I mean, you guys Facts. mentioned, you know, you guys already mentioned quite a few. I mean, her being a rookie alone, and then her coming in the league with with all the accolades. You know, like you you mentioned the race, the the, the race aspect. Of it. It's like, who's this little white girl? Think she coming in here doing all? Oh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? You got that. That's why JJ Reddit said, you know, I was a cocky white dude. You know, coming into you know when he came into the league, whether it be Duke or when he came into the actual league. So you got got people looking at her like that. So she just catching it from you know different angles. You know, I, I think she has a you know dis, a decent game, but I definitely believe that you know she's a she, because she can ball as a white girl that she's getting a whole lot more support than if she was balling as a black if a black girl was balling the same exact way they wouldn't get the backing that caitlin clark is getting and i think that's where a lot of the the, the black athletes are probably they, they just not saying it. but that's the that's what a lot of the black athletes are probably looking at like look at this white girl coming in here I, 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 think, I, I think i think she, i think she's though. overrated I, and I and I think one of the female I don't think she was dating. I think she's overrated because of what she did at Iowa. I was not a good. They're not a good basketball team in the grand scheme of things for women. But they said because Caitlin Clark went to a lesser team and did well, all her stats are fucking. They're 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 inflated. You put Caitlin. You put Caitlin Clark on That's South cool. Carolina. You put Caitlin Clark on Connecticut. She doesn't have these numbers because every other girl on that team. Is equivalent to what she did, but she went to a piss poor team and lit it up. But that's what you're supposed to do if you are great. More good players need to do that, and they could shine. But here's the thing, though: she went to the the the, uh, the championship two mm -hmm. years in a row, or went deep into the you know went to the final four, and then to the championship this past year. To, so you can't deny her that she went went on a stage. She competes. So I well, agree we, with we you. We can't we can't have this conversation like it's men's points. Like these these women, it's, it's not like these women are good. Like like I'm sorry, people. Damn. Nah, nah. I like that. Like damn. Nah. 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 That's a whole bunch of good women. They just can't here, dunk. <laughs> they just can't dunk. That's it. They just can't dunk. But I like and that. Basketball. That's why I say they need to lower down the hoops to nine feet, man. And they're gonna get way more they, audience so the women can dunk. They go that man, that should have changed the whole that should have changed I, everything. Them arenas will fill the fuck up. But see what they should have done though, because when they came here to DC, they was playing in the Wizards arena. And I used to go to the games all the time because my job would get tickets and give them to us, right? But what where they messed up at is they would allow people to buy tickets in the 400 uh, seats, 
right? Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Let's just let's. Yeah. Talk. You wasn't buying the tickets to go and see them yourself, though. I have no, no. I have though. I have. I have. Uh, I only saw, but my I job, saw the Rockers. I saw the Rockers. My job. Time, my bro. job had. My them. job had courtside tickets too. But no, I. I, I what was I, it like? Thirteen dollars a game. The courtside tickets is a hundred dollars a game, but the regular <laughs> tickets, yeah, they they like twenty dollars. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's like a hundred dollars. Nigga, I'm game. going down there and I'm about a whole courtside. Exactly, basically. And then you know what's so interesting? I know you're joking about it. That when we sat down there, people thought I was related to one of the players. I'm like, y'all must know how much these tickets cost. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, but I like it. it I, but see where they messed up at is they should not allow anybody to buy tickets past the 200 row, and it would have made it look more. It made it look full. But they will let people buy tickets in the whole state. I'm like, why you you can't afford a ticket? It's four. Why are you up in four hundred? The tickets don't cost that much. Mm. If the ticket should be past two hundred, and then the place would have looked more filled up. But so what happened? They end up building another stadium that's smaller, where you know I think it take I think it seat like five thousand people or something like that. So when so it looks like when it is more people at the game basically but that's why I think for the they, mystics they, they build it they build another arena yeah, they build the their own stadium yeah they build their own oh, stadium that, that's crazy yeah they build that's their crazy. own crazy <laughs> hey look look db db2 i would have had i would have had them hoes playing on the playground man like db2 like lebron I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to this lebron shit, bro lebron needs to stop speaking on Bronny. period man let I him see. have his own legacy bro you keep talking about this young man, you are going to ruin his fucking career. You already putting a target on his back. Just let him play basketball, man. You never heard Michael Jordan talking about his kids. Yeah, but Michael Jordan's kids are shit. Yeah. He going to the league but still, <laughs> you ain't you never heard you never heard uh 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 what's it, um Steph Curry yeah. dad talking uh talking about his son? Steph Curry yeah, dad did. wasn't LeBron James either, bro. What are you talking that, that's about? That's irrelevant. Right it's irrelevant, though. It's irrelevant. No, it's what I'm saying is, you not. don't let your kid. No. Okay, so Doc Doc Rivers is a, okay. So Doc Rivers is a coach. He never no, talked about listen, Austin Rivers. N- none of these people that you're talking about was the goat bringing up their kids and okay, their shadow. Okay, so LeBron, Steve, Steph LeBron Curry is not was the not goat. his dad's so shadow. Stop calling him that. Stop calling him the goat. That's false. Let's, let's stop start there. LeBron is not a goat. I said he's not. goats. I said multiple goats. Like he's not. He, he's a good, he's not the goat. Steph Curry's dad is, is nobody. Goat. We we didn't even know. Most people don't know Steph Curry's dad until we knew. Steph oh, that, Curry. that that's that's that's, that's that's completely false. Man. Everybody knew who Steph Curry's dad was. Everybody knew who Dale. But he's more. Was. He was, he's more famous. He wasn't as a, he wasn't a father than he, he was as a, a player. He wasn't a superstar, but people knew who Dale yeah, Curry was. People, was, he, he was people outside of basketball didn't know who Steph Curry is. Yeah. People outside of basketball know who the Steph fuck Curry LeBron James is. is. Yeah, yeah, he's more famous as Steph Curry's father than he was as a player. Yes, correct. Even though I mean, we knew who he was. He played with Kendall Gill and Bug- Muggsy Bowe. You know, we knew he, and he could ball, but we, you know, we didn't know him like we know him now. No, I knew him back then. I watched him play. He was straight. No doubt, no doubt. I agree with you. I knew I knew who he was, but he's definitely more famous now. He's definitely more famous now. I don't know about that, man. But okay. that's that to each their own. I mean, no, nah, no, nah, I feel you. It ain't you know? It's, it's we just different of opinion. Yeah, we not yeah. we not far off. I know what you mean. He won't no scrub. You know what I'm saying? He definitely was a, was a baller. It's just that you know we we kind of. His, his 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 son's game has kind of superseded who he was, which is a great thing. For sure, all in all, for sure. That no, yeah. that's that's fact. Yeah, he even was, though he wasn't know, he what his son him. was, he wasn't. Yeah, what he, his son. he wasn't. He also wasn't allowed to be what his son was either. You couldn't, you couldn't play like that back then. The shooting and all that. Yeah, play, had to play a totally different way. Um, but. LeBron, he got he got to let his son have his own legacy, man. He got to stop trying to force it to be something, man. Like that kid is not ready for the NBA. He's Do not, not fucking talk about him playing in the NBA or playing up against NBA players, man. That shit got to stop, man. Yeah, he's not. He's not like, ready, oh man. Oh my god. I think, I think he should. 
I know LeBron wants to play with his son, and I know that's kind of the thing that he's really pushing for on the low. But his son needs four years, if not three. He, his game is not developed enough to go into the NBA. Well, I, 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 I think he's gonna surprise y'all. 